Well, are we having fun yet? This is my question. But this is fascinating to me. It's super fascinating. There's so many. Let's drink water. We're in midday now. Where do we? No, it's still morning. Anyway. Here's the thing everything is in cycles. I mean, I, I believe in cycles. Uh, took my little towel here. I'm going to take this towel. Everything is in cycles. And what's fascinating to me is like, you know, we had a lot of movements, you know, through our, throughout the, I'm talking about the ADOS people who have lineage, you know, in the uh, North America. And the lineage is chattel slavery and all, all the other stuff that happens uh, between chattel slavery and this very moment, this moment where, where it's just fascinating, you know. Here's, here's my thing. I think that we're just taking this stuff really too seriously. I know it's a serious situation. I'm not saying not to take it seriously. But I'm just saying, say, if you can't have fun in this situation, then I don't know what's wrong with you. This is fun. I mean, you know, to have Joe Biden, you know, to account for his sins, you know, and drag his whole family with him, people, things like that. You know, to have, to have, to, anyway, there's a lot of stuff going on. But I was also thinking, I hope this, uh, I hope this uh, woman one time, with her PhD, it was a difficult one too. It was community development. But one of the things is uh, that was brought up is that all organizations have a life cycle, just like you know, life. It's a life cycle. You know, you're born, you 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 learn, you grow up. You know what I mean? Finally, fulfill your thing. And it, be, be, believe it or not, your your organization has got to wane or to die. A lot of the times, we don't let these organizations die. This is the problem. Well, remember, death is just nothing but reincarnation anyway. So, that's just what happens. Sorry, I do kill flies. South African money. Uh, anyway, so what I'm looking at is like, uh, 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 it's a new organization. Instead of people propping up the new organization and see how, what's what's the, what's this baby going to be like, you know, like a newborn. What's this baby going to be like? How could we nourish it? Whatever have you? That's not what they do it. Other other adults, adults are the same baby's clan. Trying to try to, but here's the thing: ADOS is bulletproof. You can't kill ADOS. I mean, think about it. You can't kill it. It's impossible. Because it's not just an it's not just an ideology. That's what I'm trying to say. People, a lot of times we we're dealing with ideologies. Maybe we're, going to, we're going to have um, what do you call those? What do we call those things? Um, policies and stuff like that. Well, they are just what they are. But we're talking about reality right now. Let me go far afield just to show you what I mean. There's this economist, or economist, or guy that Doug Doug Henwood. He, he was for the, the Left Business Observer. So I was talking to Doug Henwood one time, and he says, and we were talking, something, something happened, and he says, look, you want to know about the economy? Here's the economy. Take out your wallet, look in your wallet, what do you have? That's the economy. The economy is not some, is not some uh, bunch of statistics coming together. You have a personal economy. And my water glass is, is, is over full, that I'm, I'm being nourished, whatever have you, right? If I... Go to this water class and it's all the way empty. I need, I need, because I gotta fill up. You see, so there is the problem. Organizations come and go. Some organizations are viable, some aren't. Most of the organizations, but I really fascinate, fascinates, what fascinates me about ADOs especially is that it's pretty difficult to, I mean, you know, uh, to snipe the organization. It's pretty difficult to try to infiltrate it and, and try to give false information because it's about data, it's about politics and data. So you can check out all this, everything can be checked. And since we have all these ADOS people, finally when you, I'm telling you, when this ADOS hits you, if you're, if you're sitting right now and you're ADOS and you don't, you still don't understand, you don't understand, when, once, when the revelation comes to you and you say what you really are, what your lineage is, and what's owed, and what's due, and whatever happened, this whole thing, once that hits you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a visual, in a, in a way that, that gets you to finally, ooh, 
it, it should motivate you. So if, if you're ADOS and you're not motivated, that's fine. We just don't want you to un to de to 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 demotivate anybody else. That's the whole message at this particular point in our little phase. Remember, they have now until I say July 4th, uh, this July 4th, 1919, to, to keep on sniping people and, and weeding people out and get, uh, and get your legs or whatever. Right? Then, from, then from July until to, to the, uh, to the inaugural conference in, in October, that's for you to get focused because at the conference, you got to bring something to the conference. Something. It was just a, a, a one letter, one word sentence to the conference, right? And then, then we'll get our marching horse from the conference on, then it's on, it's game on. So right now I'm just having a bunch of fun. Preparation is everything. So I'm just having a bunch of fun looking at stuff happening, hearing people talk, and, 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 and all the people come out of woodwork and what they didn't do, what they should be doing, blah, 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 blah. People trying to skirt issues and stuff like that. What? It's fun. You gotta be having fun. I insist. I being me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. From ADES of the ADOS, American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>